Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today I wanted to showcase the Sony AX33 camcorder. Now I've been using this over the last few months and I've kind of fallen in love with it. So I wanted to showcase its features and then talk about my experience using it over the last few months. So let's start with the camcorder itself. This is a 4K capable camcorder. It can shoot 4K videos at 60 frames per second or HD videos at 120 frames per second if you're looking for more of a slow motion kind of shot. The screen opens up and can swivel, and it's an LED touch screen. So you can navigate the menus just by touching the screen itself. And then it uses an SD card for storing the footage. Now you need a pretty beefy SD card for all of this because when shooting in the highest 4K mode, it does record at 100 megabytes per second. So you need a SD card capable of recording at at least 100 megabytes per second. So that means you're looking at a class 10 UHS class two uh, SD card. And you probably want a pretty big one because that's a lot of footage you're recording. Besides that, down below it, you have a slot for a mini HDMI uh, that you can plug directly into a TV screen. Um, if you don't like the LED screen and you prefer more of a normal uh, camcorder viewfinder, it has that as well that swivels out and actually looks pretty good. Then you have the battery on the back uh, that you can um, buy extras for in case you need to record longer amounts. Um, and it just kind of slides in the back. Uh, around the side, you have your DC in for charging that camera or charging the battery. Uh, you have this stop and start button on the side and then over here you have a little uh, panel that slides open to reveal your external mic inputs a uh, uh, headphones outputs and also another um, you can connect multiple cameras together so there's another port there uh, another cool feature is that it has a usb uh, ports connected directly to the side and it slides into the uh, the hand strap um, up top, you have a flap that opens up to reveal the cold shoe. So if you have external microphones or anything you want to attach to the camera, it just slides right in. Um, beneath that is your zoom, so you can zoom in and out using this. It also has a photo button in case you want to take a, some still pictures. Um, you have uh, a five-channel microphone built into the camera itself. And then another awesome feature is around the front, you have a ring that's a manual ring. So you can um, control pretty much anything you would want. Your zoom, focus, exposure, your aperture settings, uh, all of this can be manually um, adjusted from this, uh, this ring. So you can get really fine-tuned controls over say your zoom or your focus. I use it for focusing a lot um, just by rotating the ring. And then if we go around to the front, you'll see one of the big benefits that the Sony uh, AX33 has. Its active stabilization is amazing. The entire uh, lens and camera assembly is mounted on a gimbal. So it has a very nice active stabilization. So as I move the camera around, you can see the lens is trying its hardest to uh, remain in the middle. So that means that you'll have very smooth, very stabilized footage uh, when recording with this thing. And it actually works out really, really well. Um, but that's it for the, uh, the specs. Um, it has wireless, uh, so it has the capability of connecting to Wi-Fi, and then you can use your smartphone to connect to the camera, um, and you can stop and start and zoom uh, with, that, uh, with your smartphone, which is cool. And it also has the capability of connecting multiple cameras together. Now, I only have one camera, so I've never played with that feature. Um, but Sony's claiming that you can connect multiple cameras and you can switch between uh, which cameras recording at a time and, and do some nifty stuff there. So this does have wireless capabilities. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for the, uh, the specs itself. Now I've been using this for the last three months and this thing has been amazing. The footage is really clean, really sharp. It does record a whole lot of footage. Um, so you'll need, you'll want to make sure that you have uh, SD card big enough to record all of that. Um, and also you'll have to make sure that your, since it is 4K, you'll have to make sure that your editing um, computer is capable of rendering that and your, uh, your video editing software can handle 4K video. But the video that this thing produces is super crisp, super clear. Um, and one thing that I, 
really like about it is it's focusing. You can focus on really, really small objects um, because you can focus, uh, if you're zoomed all the way out, um, you can focus on something that's only 10 centimeters close to it. Like you can be as close as you want to the camera and it can focus there. Uh, so I use it a lot for recording my um, 3D printing. These miniatures are really small and it can be really hard to get nice crisp, crisp images of it. But with this camera, if you focus all the way in, then yeah, you can get really clear shots with it. So that's what I've been using it for and it's turned out perfect for that. Now I've also used this for just uh, general recording as I'm out and about. So say I'm hiking on a nature trail, the active stabilization is amazing. Um, you can just kind of walk and it will uh, uh, filter out any of the bounces or your normal gates because of that entire active uh, lens stabilization. The gimbal works out really, really nice. Um, besides that, uh, one thing you'll notice when you first pick it up is the weight of the camera. Now this is a very, very beefy camera and you can feel it. Um, so it's probably not a camera you want to uh, use if you're gonna be recording for hours and hours at a time without a tripod. If you're just manually holding this, your arm will get tired because it does weigh quite a bit more uh, than some of the other cameras that I have used. Um, and the cold shoe is great for a tripod, but you'll notice that it's right where your hand would be if you're holding this. So say you have an external microphone connected to it, one of those little boom mics, um, then it's in your way if you're gonna be holding it uh, normally. And it's also in the way of the zoom buttons. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, you can use the, the ring in the front uh, to manage your zoom. So that's not a big deal if you have a attachment that's blocking the zoom. Um, but it is just a little bit inconvenient uh, if you're using this not on a tripod. If it's on a tripod though, then all of this has worked out really, really well for what I use it for. So I also wanted to talk about what all comes in the box when you purchase this camera. Of course you get the camcorder itself with a single battery, but you also get a few cables. You get a micro HDMI cable to normal HDMI, so you can plug the camera directly into a TV to view footage. You also get a USB extension cable, so you can plug the built-in USB cable into this extender to be able to easily plug it into a computer. And then finally, you get the charger. Now this doesn't come with an external charger for the battery. You actually charge it through the camera itself. So this just gives a little plug that you plug into a port down here at the bottom. Now that's one thing that I do have an issue with is the location of this charging port in the hatch. The location's great, but you can see that the little hatch flips down and is really exposed. So I have a feeling that after a while, it's gonna be very easy for this little port to be knocked off it feels firm, um, but we'll see how it lasts after uh, a little bit more use because it is just kind of hanging there down below. Um, but that's it. Of course, you get instructions uh, also in the box of how to set it up, how everything works and how to connect it to Wi-Fi and all of that. Um, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching my review of the Sony AX33 camera. I have fallen in love with it. The footage is amazing, very crisp, very clear. Um, and it is a very capable camera for the price. Now, currently I paid $750 for it, which is the lowest that I've seen for a 4K camera. Um, so if you're looking for a camera capable of true 4K, uh, this is probably your entry level 4K footage and it looks amazing. I am very happy with the results of this camera. So if you're looking around for one, I would highly recommend the Sony AX33 camera. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. I will do my best to answer any that you have. And thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.